Uh, we're going to have uh, the countdown to the, uh, what you call the uh, Buhari's Green Bond in just about a minute or two. But first, let's uh, go back to the uh, marketplace where the uh, stock prices of the listed oil and gas uh, uh, retailers and integrated energy uh, firms on our market were a little bit uh, lukewarm on Thursday. Uh, the number of them were unchanged. Uh, remember, we've expanded uh, the big seven um, uh, baskets. Uh, these are, are the five of the, uh, of the, of the big uh, bellwethers in that space. All the prices were muted on um, a Thursday. But Seplat, the only EMP in our market, that's the exploration and production company, uh, indigenous oil and gas company uh, listed in Lagos and London, uh, went up about seven and uh, three quarter of a percent on less than 200, on less than 120,000 uh, shares. The share price uh, rose massively to 540 and five cover per share. Total was on change at 230, and then we have Eterna Oil in red. Investors took a bit of a, uh, of a haircut on that. A mid cap oil and gas retailer, Eterna Oil, 1.324 million shares of this very uh, mid cap company were traded. Thursday, the share price was down 2.33%. Uh, the rest of the uh, small cap and the newly listed uh, global spec, uh, you can see the numbers. There, and you can also see the numbers uh, of what uh, volumes were traded. Uh, the only two stocks not traded uh, Thursday was uh, Capital Oil and Rack Unity. Those are a small cap, almost a moribund uh, companies uh, on that space. But everyone wants us to include uh, everyone in that particular uh, basket. So the uh, trans, uh, transmission company of Nigeria called the TCN, that's the agency responsible uh, for evacuating all the powers generated by the uh, uh, Jenkos, what are called the Jenkos, uh, and put them on the... Uh, put them on the grid and, and all of that. Uh, they said the European Union has pledged additional 25 million uh, euros for, uh, for Nigeria's power transmission expansion program. Uh, TCN uh, is expanding, wants to expand very rapidly the transmission to evacuate more electricity generated and put them on, on those uh, pylons and what have you so that we can have more sustainable uh, electricity. But what the European Union is supporting at the TCN 25, with 25 million u, uh, euros for is to fund the TCN on solar energy uh, that are produced via independent uh, power projects of the government. So this money is coming in to support what you call the green energy, not the traditional electricity that are generated from gas, but whatever will be generated from solar, will the European Union says they put in 25 million euros uh, aside to support the government, in particular the TCN, to be able to evacuate uh, this uh, new source of energy. Don't forget, this uh, power plant, uh, this uh, solar plant, uh, will be uh, coming on stream to, uh, through a totally different uh, uh, system, and they need to be evacuated as well uh, and put on the transmission uh, system. So the TCN says uh, that is now being uh, discussed, and EU says they'll put 25 million uh, euros on the table. In the meantime, nothing good comes easy. Uh, there's no free lunch, uh, not even in Freetown. So uh, the transmission company says it has submitted a proposal to the electricity regulatory agency called the NERC for an upward review of electricity tariffs, uh, which will significantly increase uh, TCN's uh, revenue uh, generation. Uh, so uh, those power will be coming on stream, but we've got to pay for it. In the meantime, the Senate committee is querying the Nigerian government's 10 billion naira solar streetlight project designed for nine universities. They want to know how far if those streetlights in those nine designated universities have been put in place and I want to have an update on that. That was yesterday at the National Assembly. So we're counting now uh, to next week. Uh, Monday, when the Nigerian government will rule out the first Africa's green bond, uh, that that's going to be very historic. Uh, President Buhari returned from Paris uh, of the uh, climate uh, change uh, meeting yesterday, and then uh, we're expecting the president uh, to also be around next week for this. Will the president make it, make it happen? The book building for the new energy bond, the first tranche, 10.69 billion era, will start open on Monday and closed on Wednesday, the 21st. That's what market sources, though, are very close to the deal, were telling us. It's like 150 billion is the entire program. 
that the Buhari's administration is rolling out. But the first tranche to close the year is 10.69 billion, and the president says this must happen. And one of those who have to make it happen is the Debt Management Office under Patient Soniha. And the roadshow started yesterday in Abuja, and they will be coming to Lagos today, in case you run into Patient Soniha, the uh, Director General at the Debt Office. This is what she told uh, the, mark, the community uh, in Abuja yesterday about what to expect from the latest Green Bond. Uh, this is a, essentially a collaboration between the two MDAs, I should say MDA, their ministry, we are an agency uh, of government. And we are happy to have come on this journey together because this has been a journey. I know the two institutions have been working on it for some time with the support of uh, some institutions. So we're happy to have come this far to this point where we can invite uh, various stakeholders to talk about um, the Green Bond. Um, again, I would say that uh, on the part of the DMO, you, know, you of course, most of you know what we do. I think we are somehow in the media every day. But we say that uh, our mandate is to borrow for the government. Okay, so all the borrowings that the government uh, does, we handle them. We handle the issuances, the rollovers, the maturities, and everything. Uh, whereas the Federal Ministry of uh, Environment, obviously, as their name indicates, are responsible for ensuring that we have... Um, uh, a good environment and possibly um, a better environment. So all things relating to the environment, and we have uh, quite a number of them, and I'm sure the, whoever is speaking in, on that section would cover it. We know we have issues with uh, deserts, with uh, crude oil spillage, and uh, several things like that. So that is their mandate. Um, so why we're working together is because we have to uh, manage the debt, okay, while they use the money to achieve all of those um, laudable objectives. So on the, on the part of the DMO, we are really pleased to be at this point where we are again, you know, offering a new product to investors. Um, for the DMO, um, our borrowing activity is not just borrowing for government, but making sure in that borrowing we offer investors um, a variety of products that meet their needs and also um, so that um, helps them to diversify their portfolio. 